G'day viewers, there's been a lot of talk since the release of Rebecca Black's Friday that this is perhaps the worst song ever released in the history of anything. What I'm going to do now is prove that is simply not correct. I'm going to do this by comparing Rebecca Black's Friday to Miracles by the Insane Clown Posse. Let's just look at a pivotal piece of lyric from each of these tracks. One of the most quoted lyrical passages from the Rebecca Black song Friday goes, Yesterday was Thursday, today is Friday, tomorrow is Saturday, Sunday comes afterwards. Banal? Certainly. But you have to admit, factually accurate. Rebecca Black may not be advancing the body of knowledge of Western civilization with these words, but neither is she aggressively attacking knowledge and proudly proclaiming ignorance. Let's compare that to Insane Clown Posse, who famously asked, Fucking magnets, how do they work? I don't want to talk to a scientist. Your motherfuckers are lying and getting me pissed. The insane clown posse's insistence on observing mundane everyday phenomena and aggressively asserting that these are in fact miracles not to be explained by scientists, that isn't just banal. That is actively dangerous for the future of humanity. Now whether you take the word miracle in its colloquial sense to be an event that causes great amazement and is perhaps not easily explained, or you go for the literal religious sense of miracle and say this is a direct act of intervention by a god, deity or supreme being to perform an act that is beyond the comprehension of mere humans, well, quite honestly, Insane Clown Posse cheapen both of those. If one's going to look at every single, everyday thing one sees and declare fucking miracles, well, really, you're just easily impressed. Or if we're going to give them a little slack and say, well, anything that's beyond the Insane Clown Posse's comprehension is a miracle, because remember, they aggressively fight against having these events explained to them, well if stuff beyond their comprehension is a miracle, tying your motherfucking shoelaces is a miracle to the insane clown posse. So that's the point I wanted to make today. My thesis, if you will. Rebecca Black's song Friday may well be banal, trite, even annoying and grating. But at least she isn't aggressively trying to drag human thinking back to pre-Dark Ages mentality. Therefore, logically and obviously, Rebecca Black is better than the insane clown posse. But I still don't get, why were those 11 year old kids driving the car? Where were the responsible adults? Why were 11 year old kids driving the car? It doesn't make sense! Why did someone let 11 year old kids drive a car?